Basically, I've just hijacked your vlog. Sorry about Fine. that. <laughs> Good. It smells like wet dog. <laughs> my channel so today I'm in Ueno and I'm going to show you what it's like in Ueno I'm going to just walk around for just one day and see what's around I'm supposed to meet up with a friend today I'm gonna go look for him and then we're gonna have lunch and then go to the park so let's go Ueno is one of the many popular places to visit in Tokyo there's a zoo cheap shopping streets where you can buy things in bulk tons of restaurants a park and traditional shrines and temples to visit Come here during the cherry blossom season to picnic in the park and take pictures. I'm going to explore Ueno a little deeper today with my good friend Norm, who knows much more about this place than me. Don't forget to check out his channel for more of what we did that day, and let's get right into the video! Alright guys, actually I'm going to steal the camera for... That was loud. I have an idea of what we're going to do today. I'm going to be dropping some secrets. I can tell you... There's this hidden snack store that I'm gonna take her to. It's like a supermarket size. She's gonna hear me, so I gotta whisper. It's like a supermarket size store just for snacks. So let's do that. What we are gonna do, I'm gonna be showing this fine lady some neat little hidden secrets here in Ueno. Hopefully I can share some of them with you guys too. There's an entire underground area that smells terrible. Oh great, let's go! Shall we? <laughs> It's not even, uh, what time is it? It's like not even two o'clock and people are drinking. Oh, it stinks. Oh, it really does. <laughs> you guys gotta see your face. <laughs> ew, ew. Oh, this is so cute. I feel like I'm, I shouldn't be here. <laughs> Yeah, the smell just, it's very pungent. Oh my god, it gets worse as you go down like the street. Let's escape. Oh! Yeah, there's nothing good. It smells like wet dog. <laughs> it feels so weird to carry around your camera. Does it? It's Be so tiny. Considering like so this lively. is my camera. This is like a shopping street in Ueno. What do you call this street? Is there this a name? This is Ameyoko. I've never been here before. I've like seen it from a distance. It's like really cheap clothing and shoes. All that you need is right here basically. <laughs> there's a perfume shop, there's a bag shop, there's a clothing shop. This is a really good spot for like people who want to come out and get some unique like really Japan-esque photos. Daytime, nighttime, sunset. <laughs> This Tokyo Ueno snack store. It's like a supermarket size, so you can get every type of Japanese snack. Every type, not just right? Japanese. Oh, not just Japanese. So One there's the like only places you can get. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Like import. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh my god, they have Lay's chips. Yeah, they got sour cream and onion. Dude, this is my favorite flavor. Sour cream and onion, oh my god. I'm like tempted to buy these. They're only $3.70. Usually, like Lay's chips are like, I don't know, like $5 for like one bag, but this is like three, seven. that's pretty decent, I think. Definitely not bad. You can totally go nuts. <laughs> oh, they have oatmeal and everything. I'm like excited right now. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. That's like a ton of bags. This is like and insanely like cheap. If you guys want to come here to get some souvenirs or like bring back snacks from Japan, I think this is probably the perfect place to come. Japan loves their flavors. They'll change their Dorito flavors or their chip flavors, their chocolate flavors. McDonald's is always changing stuff. Oh my god, right? On the note of flavors, Japan has a really bad habit that breaks my heart. How often do you find something that you absolutely fall in love with and then, and then you can never away. find it again? Ueno is great if you're on a budget. The streets are like a maze and so much to look at and choose from. Be sure to get your wallets ready. Oh my god, what is this stuff though? It's all a nut shop? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> death shop. It's, it's a this death is the shop. death shop. All of these like streets look exactly the same. Look behind us. I know you get Look behind lost. us again. Be 
look behind us again. It, it all looks the same. It's so hard to like look at everything. You have to yeah. look up and down and around. Look at all these swimsuits, these bodysuits. Like, this is so much. Amongst the hustle and bustle of the city life, you'll almost always come across a place to clear your mind or rest. They say people who suffer from a racing mind are the people that have some of the most creative blood running through their veins. Lady Gaga, one of the most influential musicians of our time, once said, I can't control my thoughts at all. I'm tortured, but I like that. It's good to be tortured. The thoughts are unstoppable, but so is the music. It comes to me constantly. A creator's active and anxious mind is the door to the content that we produce. So places like the Shrine is a perfect spot to dream up what we'll accomplish next. He's getting frustrated. I'm so picky about my audio and it's, it's not good. even this that. Is, oh. This is the mind of, the, of a creator right here. This is how much it takes to get good shots. So many, so many shots, so, so many, many chances. Your five minute minutes. video, your five minute video is usually about three hours of, of filming. <laughs> If you're on a budget, come to Ueno Park because most of the time they have street food, like kiosks open, you can get like cheap Japanese type food. Oh my god, everything looks delicious! <laughs> At this point we were talking about how cherry blossoms are a symbol for life being too short. They bloom into beautiful pink flowers, then die two weeks later. Life is beautiful, so don't waste it. So cherry blossoms last for about maybe two weeks. Now they're all falling down. Trees will be bare soon. And then they'll bloom again next year. That's what makes them so beautiful. All right. Uh, you were just saying something that I think is really important. My anxiety? Yeah, because of the... Because of the crowds, my anxiety is like, it's crazy. It's, it's out the door. It's like... But I, I hide it really, really well. Alright, so you know what we're gonna do? I know you're not the only person out there who comes to a place like Tokyo because of the beauty and then feels the anxiety. I know that. No, so, definitely not. I'm gonna show you a nice little quiet spot in Ueno, right in the park. Okay. Where you can escape from all the craziness. It was. This is Ueno Toshogu Shrine. Ueno Toshogu Shrine was built in 1627 and dedicated to Tokugawa Ieyasu, the founder of the Tokugawa Shogunate. This shrine represents the architectural style of the Edo period. You can go into the shrine if you pay 500 yen to explore a little bit deeper. You can also see Kaneji Pagoda, which was built to ward off evil spirits. Alright, so it's the end of the day. <laughs> and oh he steals God. the camera again. Oh what a terrible oh vlogging partner. Why did you even come out with me? So thank you guys for watching my channel. Go check out his channel. He's a really good creator and <laughs> very inspiring. Please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon because, or bell button because, you know, you have to push two buttons now on YouTube. <laughs> because subscribe isn't enough, guys. Super subscribe to me. And follow me on all my social media do um, it, do it. accounts. Her Instagram game and is going crazy lately. I support almost. that because I love the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for having me. Subscribe for good vibes. Bye. Don't forget to head over to my blog for more content like this and subscribe to my mailing list for notifications. Love you guys. See you next time.